Welcome to this Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous class guide for the Oracle Seeker Mistress Smite class build. This build is a lawful good melee and caster oracle build that takes advantage of the Angel Mythic Path which is a perfect choice for a divine caster of good alignment. Before I get started I would like to offer the customary credit to Ineffect and also to Syrix who has helped Ineffect with this build the excellent work that they have made for the Pathfinder community in regards to coming up with these great builds. You will of course find a link to the written guide in the description of the video, as while you are playing the game, being able to quickly look up the guide might be easier than using this video. I highly encourage you to go check out the various builds over at Neoseeker, for which you will find the link to in the description below in this video. So, what does this class build offer you and why should you pick it? Well, you get access to a plethora of some of the strongest buffs in the game that will help you immensely when you go into melee, with also the bonus of being able to buff your companions too. You get strong area of effect abilities, combined with unmitigable damage from the Angel Mythic Path. You get Jinx for ultimate single target damage. You will be using all four genie kind buffs for Barrage, but remember to disable Divine Conversion once you get access to this, but even before that it is extra damage converted, and you will want to cast Enlarge and or Frightful aspect after that. The build double dips Charisma to Armor class and then dumps Dexterity, so any gear with extra attacks of opportunity is pure gold for this build. You will be using Metamagic Extend Spell to fill any underused spell levels. You do not need to worry about spell penetration or saving throws in your enemies, since the spells you will be using simply ignores these. You will have full animal companion progression, which gives you the option to summon fodder for tight situations. But this is a bonus and not something you should actively do unless situationally needed. Self buffed, you will be stacking around 57 attack bonus with a smite against demons. With a Bard or Scald in the group using Guarded Hearth and Inspiring Command factored in, you are going to be looking at numbers up to 80 attack bonus at the top end. Your base attack bonus will be at 16, and that is for 4 iterative attacks. Some other important mentions are... You could choose to go with Enduring Spells instead of Abundant Spells in your Mythic levels. However, this will hamper you until you are Mythic level 10. So, if you consider this, keep in mind that it is a respec option when you have all 10 mythic levels and that you should go with abundant spells up until that point. You are relying on potions and scrolls for casting mage armor on yourself, so make sure to buy and craft those so that you do get the hefty armor advantage offered by the Archmage Armor Mythic feat. And yes, the feat also applies if you use a scroll or a potion to apply mage armor to your character. There might be some questions in regards to why Hell Knight isn't in the leveling list. The reason for this is that Abundant Smite currently does not give Hell Knights any extra smites, and Order of the Nail favoured enemy is currently broken. Otherwise it would definitely be in the build. On paper it looks like a really strong smiting class, but currently the brokenness of it makes it a very weak class, sadly. Hopefully Owlcat will fix that in a future patch. With those things mentioned, let's move on to the build itself. First, of course, find a character portrait that you are happy with. I'm using a character portrait pack mod that was originally made for Pathfinder Kingmaker here, as I feel the default portraits in the game are a bit lacking. Uh, the mod works just as well in Pathfinder Wrath as you can see, and I've added the link to the mod in the description of the video. Just make sure that you read the instructions very carefully as it is easy to make mistakes when you install the portraits. When you've found a portrait that you are happy with, you will want to pick the Oracle and then the Seeker subclass. Find that here. And then we move on to your race selection. You will want to go with Ozimar which also kind of fits the roleplay aspect of this build, considering you're going to be going down the Angel Mythic path. For your heritage, you will want to pick Angelkin. This will give you a plus two racial bonus to Strength and Charisma, which are your primary stats for this build. 
And you also get a plus two racial bonus on lore, religion and use magic device checks. And you can also use the lesser restoration spell once per day, which is quite nice. Now, for your background selection, you will want to go to the street urchin category. And then you'll want to pick the pickpocket background. This will add the uh, trickery and stealth to the list of your class skills, and also the plus two bonus on your initiative rolls. Moving on to your ability score picks. First of all, you'll want to dump dexterity down to seven. You don't really need dexterity here. Then the abilities are as follows. Strength, 18. Constitution, 14. Intelligence, leave at 10. Wisdom, 11. And finally, Charisma, 19. All of your bonus level up ability points you will want to dump into Charisma, which will leave you at a total of 24 Charisma when you have reached level 20. For your skills, you are not going to get many skill points on this build, so you'll have to make some choices here, depending on what companions you take with you in your party. The guide recommends the following skills, and you should distribute these as you see fit, except for mobility, which you will want to put a total of 3 points into throughout your playthrough. Not more than 3 points there though. The other recommended skills are Use Magic Device, which is strong on a character with this high charisma, Athletics, and then Persuasion, which is also a very good idea on your main character, and especially so when you have that high of a Charisma bonus. And then finally, Trickery is also an option. But do note that Trickery depends on Dexterity, and thus might not be the optimal choice, uh, but it is mentioned as an option in the guide. I will be going with one point in Mobility, one point in Persuasion, and one point in Use Magic Device here in the video, which is what I would pick personally. Feats and class special picks are next, and for the initial level, you will want to pick Improved Initiative. Now you can do a little search here, so that helps, since there is a lot of them. So we'll just pick Improved Initiative. This will give us an additional plus four bonus on our initiative rolls. Then, as your curse, you will want to pick Wolfscarred Face. Note that this gives you a natural bite attack that will come in handy as an additional attack in combat situations. For your mystery, you will want to pick nature. And for your revelation, you want to pick nature's whispers. Nature's whispers, as you can see here, changes the modifier stat for your armor class, replacing dexterity with charisma as the modifier stat in addition to the command defense bonus. This is one of the core features of this build. And then on your additional spells, you want to pick the Cure spells, which means that you will gain these spells for free whenever you reach the appropriate level to get these spells. Now, for your spell choices at level 1, you are being given the option to choose two spells. The ones that are recommended to pick, keeping in mind that you are getting the Cure Light Wound spell for free due to the prior pick, will be Divine Favor and Magic Weapon. Do note that in the spell list later on in the video, you will see two other spells listed as higher priority than these two, but these are going to be available through the other picks that you have done here and also from the Angel Mythic Path. Quick note, uh, you will be using a melee weapon on this build, and the suggested weapon to use is a Falcon. You are free to pick any other weapon if you prefer, but knowing in effect he has chosen Falcon because there is some specific Falcons that you will get access to as the story progresses that will fit this build rather perfectly. Now, for your deity choice, you should feel free to pick the deity you like the best. Of course, you need to pick a deity that allows you to be lawful good. Iomede might be a good option, together with a couple of the other good deities, but I'm just going to go with Iomede here in this guide. Just make sure that the uh, allowed alignment shown over there has lawful good available. And then after you've picked your deity, move on to your alignment selection and pick lawful good. 
Finally, move on to customizing your character's appearance, your voice, and of course, name your character as you please. I have had several comments from people in my previous guide videos asking me why I do not show gameplay of the builds. I have answered these comments multiple times and I do expect similar comments to appear on this guide, but I will address it here in the video as well. The reasons are several. Time is the most important one, I just don't have the time to do that. Secondly, if I use a mod or edit the save game to gain experience points so that I can just level up the character manually, I will still only be showing off the class versus low level enemies at the very beginning, which doesn't really give you, as the viewers, any kind of good impression of the class at all. As if I use more or less any high level ability against a level 1, 2 or 5 enemy, that enemy will die. That's it. So, this is a guide that explains how you can build this character and it is up to you to do the showcasing of the playstyle yourself. The instructions provided are sufficient enough that you should have a good idea of how to play, but please do feel free to ask any questions about the build and the playstyle in the comments. Both myself and other people reading the comments will do our best to answer your questions on the actual build, provided you ask the, those questions in the comment section. Then we are at the point where I will be going into the levels and what you want to pick on your level ups. I will be calling out things as follows. Level X, class you want to pick, and then followed by the feats and or abilities that the guide recommends that you choose. For example, for level 1 I would say level 1, Seeker, and pick Improved Initiative, Nature, Wolf's Guard, Nature's Whisper, and Cure Spells. Also, note that when I say Seeker, I mean the Oracle Seeker subclass. It is just for convenience that I'm saying Seeker. The text on the overlay in the video will show Oracle Seeker for clarity. Level 2, Monk, and pick Dodge. Level 3, Seeker, and pick Crane style. Level 4, Seeker, nothing to pick. Level 5, Seeker and pick Outflank. Level 6, Paladin, nothing to pick. Level 7, Seeker and pick Power Attack and Metamagic Extend Spell. Level 8, Seeker, nothing to pick. Level 9, Seeker and you want to pick Spell Focus Conjuration and Animal Companion Wolf. Level 10, Seeker, nothing to pick. Level 11, Seeker, and pick Boon Companion. Level 12, Seeker, and pick Greater Spell Focus Conjuration. Level 13, Seeker, and pick Wings, and then Weapon Mastery Falcon twice. Level 14, Seeker, and pick Greater Weapon Focus Falcon. Level 15, Demon Slayer. You'll find this under the Ranger class in the class list, and then you'll want to pick Dazzling Display. Level 16, Seeker, and nothing to pick. Level 17, Seeker, and pick Shatter Defenses. Level 18, Seeker, and pick Bolster Spell. Level 19, Paladin, and pick Toughness. And finally, level 20, Paladin, and nothing to pick. Next up, we have the Spell Priority List. Spells in the regular yellow color means that these are spells you'll pick from your base spell list. Spells in green color are spells you'll pick or get automatically from your Oracle spells. And finally, spells in white color are spells you will pick or get automatically from your Angel spells. Also, before I go through the list of spells, please note that spell levels and character levels are not the same, and that you will not get access to level 2 spells at character level 2, just to avoid any potential confusion here. I am also skipping the Cure Wounds spells for all levels, as I feel they are rather redundant to list as you get them automatically from your additional spells anyways. Level 1, Magic Fang, Enlarge Person, Divine Favor, Magic Weapon, Shield of Faith, Remove Fear, and Unbreakable Heart. Level 2, Align Weapon, Bark Skin, 
Eagle Splendor, Bull's Strength, Remove Paralysis, Grace, and Find Traps. Level 3. Magical Vestment, Greater Magic Fang, Archon's Aura, Animate Dead, Shield from Demonkind, and Remove Curse. Level 4. Blade of the Sun, Crusader's Edge, Divine Power, Greater Magic Weapon, Pure Form, and Freedom of Movement. Level 5. Cleansing Flames, Ward Against Harm, Cave Fangs, Righteous Might, Genie Kind, and Summon Monster 5. Level 6. Bolt of Justice, Aegis of the Faithful, Ward Against Harm Communal, Eagle Soul, Heal, and Dispel Magic. Level 7. Wall of Light, Creeping Doom, Restoration Greater, Bestow Grace, Summon Monsters 7, Ward Against Weakness Communal. Level 8. Storm of Justice, Frightful Aspect, Avenger's Blessing, Angelic Aspect Greater, and Summon Monster 8. And Level 9. Wrath of the Righteous, Fortress of the Faithful, Heal Mass, Winds of Vengeance, Fortress of the Faithful, already mentioned, so that was twice, and then Sun Form. Now we move on to your Mythic Path. For this build, you will be picking the Angel Mythic Path, but before we get into that part, here are the Mythic Path feats and abilities that you should pick. Level 1, Abundant Smite and Close to the Abyss. Level 2, Extra Mythic Ability, and you want to pick Second Mystery, Battle. Level 3, Archmage Armor. Level 4, Power Attack Mythic. Level 5, Elemental Barrage. Level 6, Improved Critical Mythic. Level 7, Abundant Casting. Level 8, Weapon Focus Mythic. Level 9, Improved Abundant Casting. And finally, level 10, Extra Mythic Ability, and you want to pick Greater Abundant Casting. Now, we move on to the Angel Mythic Path and Abilities selections. Note that these skip some levels, and if you have the option to pick more than the guide provides, pick what you feel is most appropriate or fun-looking. Level 4, Guide the Faithful. Level 5, Piercing Rays. Level 6, Everlasting Flame. Level 7, Unfailing Beacon. Level 8, Speed of Light. And level 10, Demon Bane. Finally, let's not forget your pet, which also would want to have some tender loving care. For your skills, you want to have 3 mobility, not more, and then you can spend the rest of your skill points in perception and or athletics as you feel best depending on your party composition. For your pet levels, they are as follows. Level 1. Bully and Furious Fall. Level 3. Weapon Focus Bite. Level 4. Plus 1 Strength. Level 5. Light Barding. Level 7. Medium Barding. Level 8. Plus 1 Intelligence. Level 9. Outflank. Level 11. Blind Fight. Level 12, plus 1 Strength. Level 13, Dodge. Level 15, Iron Will. Level 16, plus 1 Strength. Level 17, Improved Iron Will. Level 19, Toughness. And level 20, plus 1 Strength. And with that, we are at the end of the guide. I hope that you enjoyed the guide and uh, that it has provided you with a good outline that you can build your character upon. Remember that while it is presented as a recipe, it is really a guide. Uh, this build is designed to be able to beat the game at the unfair difficulty level. But if you disagree with something in the build, then do feel free to pick whatever you want instead. Also, if you're not playing at unfair, you should have some leeway to experiment too. For instance, for role-playing purposes rather than the min-maxing purposes these builds are heavily leaning towards. And of course, remember to use your buffs and also remember, if you experiment, you usually do have the option to respec your characters. 
Again, the credit for the build goes to Ineffect, Syrix, Chautemok, and What is Soul, and you will, as mentioned, find the link directly to the written guide in the description of the video. Now, if you do have any questions, comments, or suggestions, then please do leave those in the comments section. You will also find a link to the Discord community server, where I have a dedicated channel for Pathfinder in the description. And there will also be a link to the Let's Play series, both in the top right, uh, up somewhere in the corner there, in the info cards, and also in the description of the video. And then, thank you all so very much for joining me, and I hope to be seeing you all in another video. Have a good one, everyone!